Welcome back. More action here at Coffs Harbour, the 2023 Inferno National Touch League. Well, we've got a mixed semi-final that has just begun on the main field. The Sydney Rebels taking on the Hunter Western Hornets. I've got Scott McAllister next to me in the commentary box. And straight away, we've actually seen a try scored real early there, Scott. The number 11 out on the wing, taking us by surprise a little bit there. The Rebels, but they're the favourites to win this encounter. Shuffling up to the seven metre mark. Plenty of tries expected to be scored in this mixed encounter. It's the number nine, though, having a crack at the line. The ball has been grounded first. That's the claim by the on field referee, Reese French, getting away for the Hornets there to equalise early. Plenty here. It's Prasad and Rosario out in the middle. They're going to play to the number 13 as well. And a great try back on the inside there from Bazunas. He throws the ball to Rosario. And. Coming up now are the Hornets. They're on the seven-meter mark. They're going to have another crack at the line. The ball is down again. Reese French. This is a try fest so far, Scotty. This is just looking really dangerous. Kai Radita. Um, you mentioned him earlier, Carly. And he's going to have probably another crack at the line here. There he is. Is he in? Yep. All clear, Ardita. So that's a good name uh, from the Hornets to keep your eyes on. Lots of set plays and set pieces from the Rebels players, so very interesting to see. The Rebels here find their way out to the line and have they just tied things up here? I think they have. Great long ball from right to left there and on the end of it, the recipient, Carly Walsh, so she gets over for her first try of the game. And Move Hughes on. will pick up from half and another long ball. They're loving attacking down that left-hand side. That's a phenomenal try there to the Rebels. He connects, just catching the number there. The winger, Hughes, actually, who's one of the quickest players out on the field. You can even see that he is, is feeling, he's buying into this patient approach. They know what they're doing here. They're, they're accountable to their structure. They go to Hughes, who will crack at the line, or will he? He'll pass out wide to the number 11. So they've gone to Walkman again, and, yeah, it's just masterful display of touch there from the Rebels. Let's see what they can do at the end of this set. They yes. go for the line, and that's a great start, as good as it gets. We've defended the following set. Some sweeping plays coming on now for the Hunter Western Hornets. Looking good here. And has he run away? Yes, absolutely. Kurt Grogan. He may have got a sneaky one down this sideline. Yep, they're going to award it. Stick out on the right here. He's going to receive the ball. Yeah. Can he find space? He plays to the wings. Perfect. Perfect is the right word indeed. I think there, Carly. They get out to Rachel Mortel. That the Rebels were, you know, um, were being. I think as well, Carly, to your point, uh, we'll, we'll just discuss his fifth and last play here as the number oh. one comes through for the Hornets. Uh, that's brilliant work. It's Grogan again, and he's screaming through for his second try. That's exciting for Grogan. Definitely. This is the kind of position that Prasad likes oh. here. And he's using Hughes well. He does seem to get the ball away. Indeed, he does. And they're back in the hunt here. One point in this again. They will be busy. And Adam Collins, of course, ground announcer at the field. He's joined us a few times. Uh, he is responsible for the paint away scoreboard. Oh. He's just gone Simmons. straight through there, Simmons. They've found the space, and they're really opening up the Rebels' will uh, really well here. The Rebels need to rally. And it's going to be a very exciting climax, I believe, um, you know, in this game because both teams have got so much attacking prowess out there, and, yeah, it's just going to keep going. Tries to come, and that's a nice yes. long ball. They've called all clear. And, but the Hunter, Western Hornets with the ball again. The defence here Still got coming numbers. tough. They've got numbers out wide. The ball's gone a little bit high there and sort of... Falconer in the face. It's the 22. Hopefully she's okay. I think she is. Mortel. Our second field between the Scorpions and Sharks. It's seven all. So potential drop-off prospects there. But the Sydney Rebels, they will be playing the ball. And high fives from the sideline. You can see there as the full-time buzzer goes. Boil over here. The Hunter Western Hornets take down the Rebels.